Your accusations against Teresa and Whitney are ridiculous, Frank. You hired me to do a job, and I'm doing it. Ethan, both these girls know more than they're admitting. So you keep saying. Look, Frank, if you were accusing anybody else of a cover-up, maybe I'd buy it. But Teresa and Whitney have no reason to lie. They both come from very good families. Whitney's mother is a respected doctor, and her father is the athletic coach at the high school. <laughs> Teresa's mother is Pilar, my housekeeper, who has worked for me for years, and who I am very fond of. Besides, Teresa knows that the stalker is dangerous to me and everyone in the family. They are protecting someone. Who is it? A relative? A girlfriend? <laughs> Teresa, what's wrong? Are you all right? Um, I... I think she'll be okay if I just get some cold water on her face. Oh, well, of course, dear. There's powder room right at the end of the hall. Thank you. I am telling you, they know something. Lighten up, Frank. You're treating two obviously innocent girls as if they were criminals. Are you okay, Teresa? I'm fine. I just had to stop that Frank guy from bulldozing us. Well, I had to get us out of there. If Ethan would have looked in your eyes five seconds longer, he would have recognized you. It's so unfair, Whitney. Ethan thinks I was stalking him when I never was. I wish I could have stayed in his arms forever. You're supposed to be over him, Teresa. I try, Whitney. I really do. But when he looks at me the way he did just now, my heart melts. Oh, well, we are both going to go into meltdown if Frank convinces Mrs. Crane and Ethan he's right. Goodbye fashion career for you and tennis future for me. Unless they have tournaments in jail. Neither one of us is going to jail, Whitney. That's why we have to stick to our story no matter how tough it gets in there. Well, easy for you to say, Teresa. I am a terrible liar. I mean, my knees were knocking so hard in there, I'm surprised nobody heard them. You gotta play it cool, Whitney. If Ethan finds out I'm the girl he thinks is stalking him, he'll hate me. We have to convince him and his mother to drop the investigation. Well, how are we going to do that? We'll have to find a way. If we don't, that bloodhound they hired will hammer at us until we crack it, and then we're cooked. Really cooked. You never asked how the hearing went, Mother. Oh, well, I knew it would go well when Mayor Demarest called the police chief. What are you talking about? Your father called the mayor and threatened to file a sexual harassment suit against Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Father ordered me not to play the harassment card because he didn't want the press leaping all over Sheridan's name. How could he go and use it himself? Well, I believe your father made the distinction that his way was behind closed doors. He had no right to interfere. <laughs> you haven't been home long, Ethan. Your father frequently plays God. To it. The hell I will, and neither will Sheridan. She will be furious that her brother used her name without her consent. Well, I wouldn't tell Sheridan, Ethan. There's no reason she really has to know. 